What you're looking at right now are just some of the properties from one of the largest landowners in the United States, the one of the world's richest people in the entire world, and that, of course, is Amazon's Washington Post CIA-connected Jeff Bezos, who, of course, fully supports the fight against white privilege and, of course, minuscule details about popular video games, while of course not saying a single gosh darn word about his and other multinational corporations running around this world being able to do whatever they want as they please, playing by a different set of rules, pushing of course wealth, income, inequality, destroying economic opportunities, while putting his employees on welfare, treating them badly all on of course minimum wage. Why am I bringing this up right now? No reason, no reason at all. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Okradowski of We Are Change the Target. In this video, we will be talking about the billionaire class that looks like it is in trouble, especially with the latest arrest of Ghislaine Maxwell. And specifically in this video, we will be asking the larger question, will more dominoes fall from this? Will she cooperate and tell all the secrets? of the super rich who by the way are, are very weird and do really weird stuff all the while youtube's favorite network that they like to promote and shove down everyone's throat cnn even decided to ignore the bombshell story of this arrest if we have more time we're going to expose more hypocrisy with the quote most trusted name in news and essentially how most of science is manipulated by special interests and yeah we're going to cover all of that plus a lot more with memes, of course we can't forget about the memes, all on this independent media organization that is here mainly because of your support. And one very easy way to support us is of course checking out some of our merchandise. And uh, we might be early on this, but we already have our uh, Ghislaine Maxwell didn't kill herself t-shirts. We also have two new brand t-shirts that I'm very excited to personally wear myself. This one that just came out that says to practice media distancing. And uh, we, we couldn't resist, someone had to do this. I really didn't want to, but we had to. Now, of course, we also have an official Ken is carrying shirt as well, all of which you could get by clicking the link in the description. We also have bandanas, hats like this one. And, and again, this is not a Make America Great Again hat. A lot of people have it confused here. This is a quote, Make Taxation Theft Again hat, just for, for clarification purposes, which you could get, of course, on our store while, of course, it is still up. So yeah, definitely check out all the great stuff there. That, of course, also helps spread very important messages out there to the general public. Now, when we look at the Ghislaine Maxwell story, especially now, the, the super rich evasion of justice story that has now finally met its end in a $1 million cash bought through an anonymous LLC secret hideout in New Hampshire that wasn't so secret to, of course, the federal authorities that just yesterday apprehended Ghislaine Maxwell. Now, the property that Ghislaine Maxwell was hiding out in is stunning. It was bought in secret eight months ago, and no expense was lost for luxury. Property was even called the Talked Away, and is just another yet example of the mysterious underworld that Ghislaine Maxwell was a part of, with, of course, her very powerful friends. She also, very interestingly, also had a helicopter license and submarine license and of course was very closely connected to jeffrey epstein and according to some of the victims was even in a position higher than jeffrey himself when it came to the grooming and extortion ring that both of them were run running with very powerful individuals she herself had 15 bank accounts that combined to close to 20 million dollars she did this to avoid detection but this is again what we still know of and as we found out with the jeffrey epstein case there was a lot more wealth a lot more passports properties that no one even knew about that Jeffrey Epstein had, so it's most likely that that is the case with Ghislaine Maxwell as well. But so far, we know that she was moving around and hiding from justice. There were some news reports that she was in Brazil, in Israel, in Paris, specifically in France, where she had protection from extradition, which, of course, makes a lot of people question why was 
she in New Hampshire and, and not a country where she was, quote, protected from the law. We also learned that she registered a new phone under the name G Max, ordered packages with fake names, had a lot of cash on hand, had a British, French, and American passport, and is, quote, being considered a flight risk, which will be important information for her arraignment, which most likely she won't get bail from, as, of course, she's facing very serious charges. The same charge charges as Jeffrey Epstein had against them six counts including trafficking of minors and perjury and the interesting tidbit here is that most of these charges stem from incidences between 1994 and 1997 involving three victims the youngest of which being 14 years of age and these are very serious charges which could see Ghislaine Maxwell be in jail for the rest of her life and because of that many people are assuming that Ghislaine Maxwell will, of course, tell all and will be, quote, naming names in order to avoid life in prison. This could be why the federal prosecutors assigned to this case are a part of the Public Corruption Unit, who also were the same individuals in charge of the Jeffrey Epstein case. And it's important to note here that the federal authorities in charge of this investigation are coming from the, quote, Public Corruption Unit and not from the trafficking unit, but of course the same unit that handled Jeffrey Epstein case. This is all according to reporter Ellie Hognig. And if that's the case, it looks like there's other political public officials that could be implicated here. Now, the fact that the same unit is handling this case has raised a lot of suspicions and eyebrows, and, and rightfully so with what happened to Jeffrey Epstein just one year ago. There's a lot of important questions to ask, like why did it take over 24 years to arrest her for an incident that happened in 1996? And it's also important to note here that the prosecutor that was in charge of this case was fired 12 days ago and after being fired then only did we see the arrest of Ghislaine Maxwell. Now the lawyer of the victims of Jeffrey Epstein is saying that this prosecutor was fired because he was going after Prince Andrew too hard. That was an assertion made by them. We still don't know the full exact truth of what is happening behind the scenes, but it's definitely a lot more than what we are being told. But if Ghislaine Maxwell starts doing the right thing, if the federal authorities don't stand in the way of justice like they have for almost three decades now with this case, if the public could find out the truth about the very powerful doing the most unspeakable things in this world, that overall would be a very good thing. Since, of course, thousands of children were hurt by these individuals, while the federal authorities, local authorities, and many other people in authority looked the other way for over three decades now. If there's a chance for justice, if there's a chance to stop the true monsters, the very powerful people who never face any accountability in our society, Overall, this would be an amazing thing if, of course, Ghislaine Maxwell doesn't meet the same faith as Jeffrey Epstein. But according to the Daily Mail, whose reputation, of course, is not perfect, she will be, quote, naming names according to a former Epstein associate. This is, again, reporting from the Daily Mail. Take that as you may. They don't have the best reputation. But when it comes to the Jeffrey Epstein case, I have to say they've been doing a lot better than the majority of mainstream media. But again, uh, that's not also saying much. Now, according to them, they're, they are also saying that Epstein's former employee, Stephen Hoffenberg, is saying that Maxwell, quote, knows everything and, quote, will totally cooperate. Saying specifically, quote, she's going to cooperate and be very important. Andrew, specifically talking about Prince Andrew here, continuing on with the quote, is definitely, definitely concerned, Hoffenberg said. And if that happens, wow. That would be an incredible thing for humanity to purge some of the most disgusting, powerful figures in our world. And when we look at the individuals connected to Ghislaine Maxwell and, of course, Jeffrey Epstein, we have a who's who's list of very powerful individuals. Individuals, of course, like Les Wexner. Bill Gates, Woody Allen, Larry Summers, Ken Starr, Bill Richardson, Jean-Luc Bernay, Clintons, and Trumps, and of course, British royalty, specifically Prince Andrew, which the federal prosecutors in this case say 
that they want to hear from. Now, Prince Andrew did publicly say that he would be helping investigators, but according to many, he has not done so at all. And some are saying he said a bold face lie and he is not cooperating with, of course, federal prosecutors. And of course, that wouldn't surprise me. Now, when it comes to a lot of these individuals that are connected to Maxwell and Epstein, we have to understand that just because there's a photo of them or that they met doesn't automatically implicate them of some grand trafficking, abuse, elite, secret society, intelligence agency connected extortion racket. Does that automatically make them guilty? No, but there deserves to be a proper investigation. Individuals deserve to be questioned since, of course, there is still a large majority of things that we absolutely do not know about what was really going on. This is mainly because of the mainstream media that a couple years ago were writing how great Jeffrey Epstein was, what kind of luminary Maxwell was, what a socialite she was, how great and funny and and I'm not I'm not kidding you. That's that's literally the gloating quote news that was written about these individuals. Obviously, there's a lot of photos of them and connections with powerful people, including people like Elon Musk, who just issued a statement on the photo, of course, that he had with Ghislaine Maxwell saying specifically, don't know Ghislaine at all. Quote, she photo bombed me once at a Vanity Fair party several years ago. Real question is why Vanity Fair invited her in the first place. So that is Elon Musk's story. There's a lot of different stories here. The fact that she might be locked up in the same scandal-plagued Manhattan jail as Jeffrey Epstein should be concerning for everyone. There's a lot of powerful people implicated here. A lot of money, a lot of influence that, as we've seen, can buy justice and the legal system that is essentially the story of jeffrey epstein a man for three decades that was able to get away with heinous acts while of course everyone in authority looked away will that be the case here well actually to be honest with you i'm i'm a little bit optimistic i i, I honestly d didn't think Ghislaine maxwell was going to be arrested but the fact that she is the fact that they they, they have her now the fact that she's facing such severe charges it, it, it's something that, that i'm not afraid to, to admit uh, again i i totally didn't see coming i don't know anyone who did but with how unpredictable this entire saga is, the only thing I could promise you is to, of course, keep a very close eye on it, since this is a very fast developing story with large implications that could rock and change our society forever. And the way that society is going, I, I hope it is changed for the better. And the best way we could do that is by shining a light on the darkest parts of our society that many people are afraid of even mentioning. Disease and sickness spreads in darkness and light could disinfect it. There's a lot of darkness in this world. There's a lot of bad things that happened. Is this a course to change it? I absolutely hope so, but we should be on our toes and ready for anything and everything to happen. Your attention on this story makes a difference. I truly believe if it wasn't for people paying attention, yes, even sending out memes, continuing to talk about this, continuing to support independent media that investigates this, that it's one of the real reasons why we are where we are at today. Again, there's a lot of evidence suggesting that she was an agent of the state. A lot of people even assuming that she wasn't hiding out. And also with the latest revelations of a U.S. judge ordering the victims, specifically Virginia Jufree, during legal proceedings to destroy all of the evidence, all of the individuals that were named to be destroyed, we definitely have an uphill battle. Again, yesterday on the eve of the arrest of Ghislaine Maxwell, a U.S. judge ordered evidence against Epstein and other individuals to be destroyed. So yeah, definitely an uphill battle, and that's why it's important to push, speak out more than ever. Sharing this video also helps get the message out and also helps independent media still stay alive, mainly because we face a lot of shadow banning, censorship, and of course demonetizations as this channel was fully demonetized for speaking about such critically important issues 
that, of course, big institutions that are promoted on this platform absolutely ignore. This is the story of the decade, and to have the, quote, most trusted name in news that YouTube pushes on you, that YouTube destroys independent journalism because of, promote their trash doing this, it's more important than ever to share this video. And because you guys do, because you guys support us, because you guys buy a shirt, the sharing is the most important part. Because you guys do that, this is why I'm still here, and this is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.